Barbara. And I'm Karen, and we're the Sync Sisters. This is our tech bit on editing geotags for photos. All right, so today we're um, in the Photos app on our Mac, and yeah. um, we're going to be talking about geotags in a photo. And what that is, is that's tagging a location that a photo was taken. Oh, okay. Um, and your iPhone, uh, your Android phones, all your phones will mark the location if you have that turned on, right. which most people find that to be a nice thing. Yeah. I like to see where I've taken my pictures. I do, too. Um but sometimes maybe you um, have a separate camera. You have a 35 millimeter camera you take pictures with, and it doesn't have geotagging, um, or it's an old picture. Right? Um, maybe you scanned it in. Yeah, if you scanned a picture in, wouldn't it be fun? Uh, we just scanned a bunch of old pictures of our mom and dad at the U of M, and I went ahead in my library and I put that geotag on there, oh, so cute. it shows up as being at the university. So it's kind of right. fun. So let's first of all just take a look. We've got a, a photos album open here, and we've got a bunch of pictures up, and I'm just going to click on one of them. Okay. And I'm going to go up to the uh, window menu at the okay. top of the screen and go down to Info. Okay. Um, you can also use the keyboard shortcut Command, Command I. I. And up comes this nice little palette that shows us all kinds of information about the photo. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, first of all, you can add a title. I don't know if you knew that. You can add a uh, title to your picture if you want to. Oh, you can okay. search by titles. You can have titles print when you print oh. out. Oh, neat. Yeah. And here's the file name of the photo, the yeah. actual file name, the date it was taken, and the time. Okay. Um, and then you've got the heart, so you can favorite, favorite it right here yeah. if you want to. The next information that it shows us is the what they call the metadata information. Which oh, that sounds that sounds really hard. Sounds technical, <laughs> but it really is just what was it taken with? So oh, this that's is just really cool. I did really, not know this was here. Yeah, great for photographers um, who like to see. This was this was actually taken with an iPhone six plus. It yeah. shows um, the back camera and all the information about it, how big the picture is, and yeah. what format it is. Right. And the ISO and all that kind uh, of stuff. Settings, blah, blah. Unless yeah. you're a photographer, right? Well, right, which is nice to see what the f-stop was and all that kind of stuff. Now, you can also add a description here if you want to. Okay. Um, I just type in description here. And then you can add a keyword. And we're not going to get into all those things right. right now. But this is what we're really looking at is where was, where it, was taken? it taken? Yeah. This was taken in Naples, Florida. Okay. Okay. Um, let's go to another picture and look. This picture has no location. Uh oh Okay. So maybe we want to assign a location um, to this picture. So basically, I'm on the picture. All I have to do is come in here and start typing. I'm just going to start typing in Duluth. And you're going to see up come all these different things. Oh, the airport. Oh, nice. You're talking about Duluth Trading Company. This is basically going out to the Internet and searching sure. a location. I'm Very just going to pick Duluth, Minnesota, and boom. Sorry, Apple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it added a location right to... Um, to that photo, which right. is really cool. And that cool. photo probably didn't have one because it was taken with a different taken camera. Taken with a, with a different camera, exactly. Now, another thing you can do is you can do a series of pictures. So I think these, no, those have a location. Let's see. Let's just take, um, I don't think any of these have a location. I'm going to take that picture and this one and this one. None of okay. them have a location. I'm going to go ahead and assign a location okay. to all of them. Monticello. There you, go. there you go. Now they all have the assignment Monticello. Oh, now, when great. you just do a city, of course, it's going to go to the center of the city. Yeah. But you could get very specific. You could type an address in if you wanted to know oh, wow. exactly where that you've taken super the picture. Cool. Yeah. Now, um, the opposite of that would be removing. Yeah. This uh, now there's a, there are all those people out there that don't want it out there right. where you're taking your pictures because right. then they can know where you were with your kids or you know right right things like safety things <clears> or exactly. Privacy nuts. <laughs> right. So if you want to do that, it's not too hard to do either. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the image menu. We've selected the picture. We want to remove it. We go to the image menu, go to location, and remove location. Ah, oh, perfect. You can also revert to an original location if you want okay. to. So, so now if we look, do command I and look at the info... Or go ahead. Yeah, window, get uh, info, and you can see that there's it's no gone. location. Wow. So it's a really, um, really nice feature. Um, that Wouldn't you that can be a nice that. feature for when you're posting on Facebook? Yes. And because anyone can see your Facebook page, and you might not want them to know that you were at this park with your kids. That's right. Or, or if you were putting it up um, somewhere even more global, like into a photography 
website on yeah. Google or something. You don't necessarily want people to know where they were taken. Right. And you can do that removing, but another neat thing that you can do, and we just showed you how you can remove it from the picture, but you can remove it while you're posting only. So if we oh, go okay. if we go up here to the photos oh, menu right. and we go to preferences, okay. okay, photos menu preferences, it says here, include location. I gotta move it over a little. Include location information for published items. I'm gonna turn that off. And now when I ah, share a picture, I love it. It will not put that location information. But when on. you look at it on your photos app, you'll see it. You'll still see it. So it's a very nice, um, nice. thing that you can do. That's so awesome. That's all about geotagging in the Photos app on Macintosh. Thanks for watching this Sync Sisters Tech Bit. And please subscribe to our channel.